Coleman 19 CM Motorhome. Let's talk about it because honestly, it probably is one of the most interesting backstories I've heard today. So how did it come into existence and will we ever see it again? Well, stick around and you'll get to find out. To truly understand the plight of the 19 CM, we have to see where it started, which is in early 2020. Thor Motor Coach builds a lot of fantastic Class C motorhomes from the Freedom Elite to the Quantum all the way up to the Super C, the Inception. However, if you do some digging, what you'll notice is they don't inherently build anything on the short E350 chassis. Why? Well, to be honest, I'm not completely sure, but my guess is mainly because of chassis allocation. At the time, chassis are already hard to find and they're hard to come by, and using that allocation to get chassis that can only be used for smaller motorhomes doesn't make sense when they're pretty close to being the same price. And with a larger chassis, they can be used for anything in the entire Thor Motor Coach lineup. But as we know, the 19CM is built on the short E350 chassis, so clearly they must have gotten some in to make this happen, right? Well, not exactly, and this is where the story really gets interesting. Um, you see, the 19CM is not a unique layout and is actually fairly popular. But where? among the major rental companies. Why? Well, again, I'm not completely sure, but I'm reason to guess it's because people new to RVing enjoy the smaller size and feel more comfortable in their ability to maneuver it. But on top of that, there may or may not have been an agreement where only they could have that floor plan. And even though it seems like a lifetime ago now, if you recall, there was a certain pandemic in early 2020 that had everyone in every industry full of uncertainty, at least for a period of time. And although certain industries, including the RV industry, ended up doing quite well during the pandemic, nobody was clairvoyant enough to know that would be the case at the time. You have to understand the difference between RV dealers and RV rental companies when it comes to inventory. RV dealers, it's kind of the process you would assume. They purchase completed RVs from manufacturers. So this means the manufacturer owns all the parts and equipment necessary, including the chassis, to make the RV until it's finished, at which time an RV dealer would purchase it. The difference with the major rental companies is that they actually purchase and, open, uh, and own the chassis. So they'll buy the chassis from Ford, from Chevy, wherever they may be getting it, and then send the chassis to a manufacturer like Thor to be upfit, which is essentially to turn it into a motorhome. So maybe you see where I'm going here, but as I mentioned earlier, early 2020 was an interesting time full of uncertainty for many industries. Some of the larger RV rental companies were looking at how to weather the storm, so to speak, and decided it would be best if they could offload all the chassis they had in stock. Now, naturally, Thor didn't want them because as we said earlier, they don't stock the short E350 chassis and had no plans to do so. But for the nation's largest RV dealer, this provided a pretty unique opportunity. So Camping World and Thor worked together to create the Thor Coleman 19CM. And although it was built on the short E350 chassis, it was a layout Thor was already very familiar with, which made the construction and engineering process nice and smooth. Camping World also didn't have a Class C this short at the time, making it a unique product in their lineup. So in the end, everyone wins, right? The RV rental company made sure they were safe during a turbulent time. Thor Motor Coach got to help two clients at the same time and also helped keep their employees working by making the Coleman 19 CM coaches. Camping Worlds gained a unique product to their lineup and customers got a wonderful Class C motorhome that honestly fit a largely untouched niche in the market. But the question still remains, will we see the Thor Coleman 19 CM again? As it stands right now, odds say most likely not. However, all is not lost because if we create enough buzz and noise around this, I truly believe we can make a difference. If Thor sees there's enough interest in resurrecting the 19 CM, I think you watching this right now, myself, and anyone you share the video with can make it happen. So leave a comment on this video, letting everyone know you want to see the 19CM come back, because this will give me some ammunition I can take to Thor to try to resurrect it. Share this video with friends and on social media, help spread the word with a little effort and enough momentum. I truly think the Coleman 19CM could live again. Until next time, Ian Baker out.